All right, let's see how much I can record. And then whatever I finish off is whatever I finish off at that point. Okay, if we're going to be building this runway one-to-one... -one, let's see what we can do here. Holy crap, why are you laggy? Is really having that many decal effects making my computer cray-cray? No. Alright. No, it just... It just... All right, close enough, but I think these didn't, yeah. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right, well, that's fine. All right, we're gonna literally just one-to-one. -one. I guess just having that many sweeping effects really messes with it for whatever reason. That's fine. Yeah, the degrees aren't the most exact either there, but that's fine. So, I'm going to be building a runway to then transpose onto another map. And then I should be able to publish the COG file after I've clocked it. It's been about four and a half hours of work. Because I already got the garrison work done. I added a few other things, you know, for funsies. Uh, and then I'm going to work on some other files. I've got pogs ready to go and announced. I got training shit announced. Like, I'm, I'm ready to be done. I was hoping to be done by yesterday, but, you know, I can't always get what the hell I want now, can I? Okay, I'm going to need two more. Also, there's no way in hell I'm sleeping tonight. This is my last all-nighter. And then I'm free. All right, then I need a side taxiway. Which... I guess is gonna... Well, I mean, we could also just do these. Yeah, if I align these here, then technically I could just... But again, the goal is I want to play Helldivers this weekend. I want to play it Sunday. And to do that, I need to have so many other things done. God, I hate having texture so far when you have sloped angles like this because it makes it so much more difficult. Okay. And at this point, we're just going to be copy-pasting textures here. And again, I'm not trying to model. I was just kind of getting this in for the shape. Because I'm going to be pasting this over another decal and then flattening it out with Deformer anyhow in another map. Send in goat this is purely six. for map work. Wow. How are you this evening, Lero? Why Bro. so late? I'm struggling, Iowa. It's late because... Schedule. Like, just the sheer amount of shit I've had to do is why. <laughs> and there's... There's not really anything I can do about that, but nonetheless, thanks for the 11 month reset, Broski. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Yeah, and then they're just like kind of boxed in like that, so can I really just. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not going to do a center six. lane. I'm just going to leave now. it as is. Hey, let me F it. Um, I'm just going to do one of these. Dutch Eagle, thank you for the 49. on 3-sub as well. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice little kick out of this dev piece. All right. And then from there, it's just adding tarmac textures and calling it a freaking day. Now let me just look at it one more time in case I accidentally booped anything. Nope, good. All right. Uh, go back to opening cog and moving things. Zam. Stop it. You know better. Look, I'm on a full cup of coffee, too, so I'm not, I'm not sleeping anytime soon. Uh, literally... Had to make one change to the POG file for tomorrow, or I guess technically later today. Then I had to announce the changes in the training program and finalize it, actually put the training uh, roster in, because as soon as I finished the upload, we wanted to go for a walk, and then uh, the rest of our evening kicked off. Uh, and now I'm working on this. I mean, I'm trying to make it purposeful, at least based it off of, you know, another map that had a runway, so. At this point, I don't care if it's actually meant to be realistic or not. It's just I need a working one to make it work for these guys. Have a good night, Dutch. So yeah, I'm literally just going to be now setting this to one. Oh, we'll do five degrees. Oh, my frames. Theoretically, this should align with the map itself, but, you know, and technically an airfield wouldn't be this close and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to set something up. And this is relatively flat, but even so. Out of bounds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. Why is there a dip? It's like ironing out a wrinkle. Why is there a dip in the runway? Okay, you know what? Plan B. That is not... That's a problem. That, that was literally... Sir... Sir, please. All right. Well, I just learned you can't do that. You can't do that. There is literally a... What? Oh, I fucking hate this so fucking much when it pulls this shit. New! No! No. 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 Bad. Why 
is this? Why are we? Why are we now on that? I feel like it's just being made worse and worse. Oh my freaking god! Okay, no, just, just let me relower the decals. You piece of shit. Yeah, I feel like that really wasn't the most productive thing in the world. So I'm just going to say this. Is it flat enough? No, there's a random freaking bump here now. Thank you, game. Really cool. <sighs> okay. Okay. Iron it out. It's still a little bumpy. That's fine. Iron it out. Just, just, just iron it out. It's like ironing, okay? Just, just iron the damn thing out. You know, I feel like I've made the terrain worse. There's no way for me to really undo it. This looks flat enough. Yeah, this is a little bumpy, but at this point, it's it's the tarmac. <laughs> and there's not really much I can do. So, let's pretend Liru didn't make that mistake. All right. All right. All right, where's the damn hainer? I don't want to look into PLP, because PLP has way too many things I don't need. The fuck? Oh, you're aligned like that. Okay, well. Give me that. Give me that. Boom, instant align, and then you just drag it out. And get rid of those. So everything on the map needs to be in the map for it to count for scripted bullshit. Um... Yeah. Where are my tent hangers? These are just for show. And then I need to move that over there. Ah, uh, yeah. Is it slightly misaligned? Yes. Do I care at this point? No. No, I do not. <laughs> Here's the really fun part. These need to technically be in the mat barrier, otherwise they're not going to count.
And they're partially misaligned. How are you? How did you get misaligned? What the fudge? I have several questions. Okay. And then blue four. I don't think anyone's gonna get taken out by a frickin' thinamajig. Yes, the runway is off, but the frickin' the tarmac's off, but the runway's golden. Uh, and then I need airport lights. Do I put it like this or this? Chat, help me out. Say two for this and say one for that. Because I, I genuinely don't know. And I'd appreciate the help. This is so they said at nighttime. Wow, chat. That's kind of divided, bros. I don't know what to believe. Am I real? Is anything real? Oh, frack. That got on smooth. Smooth as butter. F you. Damn, chat, you really ain't helping. <laughs> it's too divided. Chat, please. <sighs> no, 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 no. Just give me that. Give me the solid. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've literally been going to bed by like 6 or 7 o'clock and then waking up around anywhere between 11 and 1. And this is my time, so I'm not going to sleep again for at least another 3 to 4 hours. But, I mean, it really just depends when the coffee crashes me, mate. And it's that's not a normal for me. I It was for a bit, and then I tried to fix it. Um... But it's because, again, so, like, three major projects are kind of hitting at once. Uh, this COG has become, it's turned from a 45 minute a month to now a five hour. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, I had to completely redo the next rotation for the training program and the operations tied to it. And then uh, I've got Metro's final mission, which is going to be another, like, four or five hour underground complex thing, you know? Look, I don't know how these freaking work. Please don't yell at me. I'm just gonna make a bad assumption and call it a day. Yes, I agree with you. Sleep cycles are important. However, when you're on crunch mode, you gotta get shit done. Alright, and then I can move this stuff over here and I can put that all the way on the bottom left. I guess the only other thing I need to add is like an igla monkey. Also, uh you know, direct fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going to kill someone with that. It's going to be funny. Uh I'm literally grabbing you for one reason and one reason only. Do 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 Mmm yeah My asshole punisher Air you wanna be an asshole Yeah I got you covered You you're covered it's okay Now the question is where do I put them? 
Because I'm going to be honest, an Igla coverage of that magnitude is kind of cruel. So what I'll do is I'll put them, like, well in the back line. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And then I want a Shilka over here. Literally crewed by them. Ah, uh, do do. I think a Tiggy would be too mean. I mean, I like Tiggies, don't get me wrong, but. It's not RVA. <laughs> I can think of some fun things to do with RVA, it's VPVO. Uh, I don't want to use the radar system because that would be. Yeah. Double Tiggy. Well, they're not Tiggies. I don't know why I call Tigris' Tiggies. Uh, but yeah, no, th those were the bane of pilots' existence back in the looting days. Is there anything too mean against an F-15? You know, probably not, but I put that there for security's sake. And then that's presto. That's the objective. I mean, it's literally going to be clearing this out and then going to a forest. This should at least take... Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this is going to take... <laughs> Christ. Let me let me go do some quick testing here because I just want a template. What else to potentially put in this thing? But I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I can really manage putting in anything else just because of so many different reasons. One, if I put more in, it's already going to be framey here for the player count that's going to come in, you know, 60 to 90 players. Uh, once they get out of this, I'm going to do patrols here in this town anyway, which is why, you know, half of the AO is only partially filled. So there will be more stuff. I can also fold that infantry group down. Uh, I can bring QRF through any of these routes. That's totally fine. Um, like, I'd... I'd consider, you know, maybe pushing out to this tree line and holding against a counterattack for, like, the next round. That's fine. That's cool. The only other thing I can think of is uh, being a jerk. And when I call myself a jerk, it usually means mine the shit out of it. But again, I can use little FPV drones and shit. Oh, that's what I need to make. I need to make a frickin' terminal. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, but I want to use a very specific texture with that. You. Oh, yeah, baby, you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because one of my friends does this shit. Even though they're... Ta uh, well, no, 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 no. You know what? No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm putting that back there. I'm actually going to do how he does it. But the op for equivalent would be... I'm thinking... They'd be 5 to 10 clicks behind, so we'd probably put them in here. So I'd want a single gas. I want to move debug from the bottom left corner because that can also cause complications. We'll put that over here. I need you. Yes, 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 yes. So there's no special marking for UAV, so that's fine. And, uh... 
they want me to use a very specific drone, which... I mean, I don't know why I couldn't... These are in... No, these are fair game. As a scouting resource, these are fair game. No, like, frickin', there's days where dozens of those are shot down. Yeah, the rest of these, not so much, but I'm looking for the one thing. Where is it? Where are you? Since the player base gave me the green light. Oh my god, they've got a drone with a frickin' that's... Oh, that's 3CB Factions' is update, too. Oh, my God. I need to look through that. I'll, I'll do a real quick of that after. Wait. This is a 3CB Factions update drone. Oh. Everick added the Shaw head. I thought that was part of the mod pack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they would use the, the Mavics for recon, and then they'd use the Crocius for AT at that point, but... Oh... Yeah, I know they updated, but the only thing I pulled from that update was their most important item. Okay? Because there's nothing important in that update other than one single thing. And I will now proceed to show you the most important thing they updated. Look at it. Look at it. 1.0. It doesn't disappear now. This was the single most important item in that 3CB Factions update, okay? And you cannot convince me otherwise. He told me he's probably going to get rid of the Toyota branding. But no, this. Speaking of, oh my god, guys. It's a cog op. We forgot to add. I can't believe I almost forgot. The new and improved forklift series. Look, very important that we add these. All right, and you know what? I'm just going to put them on full display now. All right, because they're, they're public now. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to put it next to the old one, too, just to show off the new and improved model. Like, all right? Like, I mean, I, I honestly don't know why we don't have a uh, a Conrad post about the new and improved forklift. I mean, this this is supposed to make headway, probably because of the Toyota branding. Once we get rid of that, then we'll see that in the Conrad. I am going to literally DM Nillers after that gets the Toyota brand gets removed. I'm going to tell him, you need to write an article on this forklift, all right? He's going to call me an idiot, but he needs to write the fucking article. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, all right. Let's actually let's have a look at the 3CB Factions update. We have a second. This mission file is pretty much done. Um, oh, let me shoot them up. Yeah. Hold up. I need to put a message. Uh, where's the COG channel? KOG. Another quick thing, comma, I know the 3CB faction update happened and they've added the completely important and totally noteworthy item of the new forklift that I've been absolutely raving over, comma, but on a totally meme and not important note, comma, he also did add... <laughs> I, I typed the rest because there's no way the phone was going to pick up Shahed. So this is what I said. Another quick thing. I know the 3CB Factions update happened and they added the completely important and totally noteworthy item of the forklift, the new forklift, that I've been absolutely graving over. I, that's, I think, meant to be raving over. But on a totally... All right, yeah, no. Voice to text butchered it. said meme instead of meme. Yeah, raving over it, but on a totally meme and not important note, they also added Shahed 136 drones, and I will be using them. Yeah. Yeah. 
hell yeah. <laughs> These are literally meant to just draw the missile fire. An actual... Yeah, no, I can put literally like three or four of these in the air just to basically pin the F-15 down and force it to launch AA on that. And then when I confirm it's rearming, I can go and just smack the players that they literally use them to soak up air defense anyway. If we're thinking on Op 4. <laughs> oh no, Liru's not actually thinking about ways to murder the player base, right? That would be really unfair. That would really be... I'd... <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh my god we should run an IED course with that forklift so people can get their forklift certifications someone write that down in op suggestion right now in my discord write that down write that down write that down write that down that's a good one you have to get through the IED course with a forklift <laughs> yes Yes. All right, where's 3CB Factions? It's probably going to be labeled. All right, let's see what we have now. Yeah, so we have the forklift as a civilian model. I'm just looking to see. He has changed logs somewhere, but I, I prefer just to find my little toys. That man is a one-man show, though. The amount of work Everick has done as a dev... I mean, he releases quicker than RHS, and he doesn't, like, he just piggybacks off of their scripting and whatnot, but he also makes sure that his stuff isn't overly scripted or complex to cause crashes. Bless that man. All right, I don't see anything new in the Civ department, which I'm totally fine with, because we already have a decent range of shit in there. Oh, boy. What do we got? I'm just going to pull out things that I think are new. Yeah, no, so that, I remember those all being new, like, you know, months to years ago. Usually it's going to be in the AAF faction. He also showed me he's working on some new uh, Toyota stuff. Funny enough that we were talking about Toyota earlier. He also probably added a bunch of new guns, too. I haven't even looked yet. But yeah, he's got the Gripens. Oh, shit. Did he add T-28s? That's meant to be the U.S. Air Force's new light attack fighter, right? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This was the bane of his fucking existence, by the way. Adding the V-22. <laughs> yeah. Well, he got it. And there's a gunship variant for it. I mean, I'm I'm going to have to use it, but I mean, I've heard that actual V-22s have been completely grounded because they're pieces of shit. So good on him, but that is honest to God probably where a lot of his time went. The Milan launcher, I'm not sure, is new. I don't remember seeing a standing static for it, though, but that's nice. Oh, shit. No, I was going to keep it out. So... God, he's got V-22 Ospreys. He's got T-28s. Those are definitely new. Uh, I'll put the standing Milan. Yeah, the T-28 is literally like a prop plane, but, you know, it does the damn job. And then again, there's probably a bunch of guns too, but I'm not going to... You know what we should actually, what I would love to him to add is like a T, uh, a T-54 and a T-62, a T-64. Like, I'm just thinking Cold War-wise, like that is probably the one thing that I can think of that a lot of people have asked for. Is that a blowpipe? Yeah, it's a blow. Okay. I was about to say, like, I see a big-ass launcher on his back. Is that one I know? Yeah. All right, and then after this, we will, uh... We'll work on some 40k garrison work. But, I mean, just looking over all of this man's work, I mean, good fucking God. He's one single dev, too. 
he's literally the web knight of content for, you know, just providing assets. One of the OGs. <laughs> One of the godfathers of content dev. I mean, hats off to him. He's done a great fucking job. God, I remember when he added the AAVP and the uh, the marine work stuff. I thought I saw it for a second, but yeah, and then the scud launcher too. I'm not sure if he's still, <laughs> I think he's still working on making it fireable, but what the hell are these? These are new. The Maz 543. Can someone look that up and tell me what that is? It's some sort of truck, that's for damn sure. I thought it was a scud launcher for a second. I'm like, what the hell? But what what uh, country is that tied to? I'm going to say French. I don't know why. That's what I'm feeling, Mr. Krabs. Feels like a Frenchy abomination to me. It's probably not French, but, you know, I look at it and I just go, that's French. <laughs> It's it's just a transport. I mean, it might have, you know, radar implications, too. What was it? An MAZ space 543. Which is kind of funny that it texts down that way, but... God, we're not even halfway through the scroll. This is why change logs are nice, because you can just look at what he actually, you know, put in. But I also like digging for it. But at this rate, I mean, man, the dude has put in so much. Oh, he did add a Tech 9. I remember that being mentioned. Honestly, I would like to see him just phase out all of Cup's stuff. Because in this day and age, no offense to cop, but it's all ported stuff, and they've they've had a great run. They added a lot of cool stuff, but at this point, you know, it, it just needs a lot of updating and touch-ups. So yeah, the marine stuff here, mm, the good stuff. And then I remember when he added the uh, 270 HIMAR launchers. It's funny, those got added, and then a few months later, the Ukraine war started, and it's like, oh shit, we have HIMAR systems now. We can actually make that legitimate. It's meant to be a Russian missile carrier. Oh, no. No. <laughs> That's based. Which means I'm probably going to find it on the Op 4 side in a second. T twenty eights. I mean, it looked like a missile carrier too, and I'm just looking at it like, ah, oh, no, bro. This has been here. That I know has been here. That's one of the newer pieces he's added recently within the past update or two. Same with uh, these tow transports. Either that or I just barely ever look at them. Yeah, so he has like a full triple R. Of all of that. I 
I feel like these are also not in the most recent update, but those are... Um, I think one of these might be new. That I think that's the old one. That might be new. Could be Ron, but I feel like I haven't seen that one before. But again, I could be Ron, because when we're talking about like niche things like transport or artillery vix, again, I don't use them that often. I know those are those have been there for a hot second. I'm still waiting on him to update an MTLB with, like, an anti-aircraft turret. I'd love to see that. Hell, I'd love a variation of other anti-aircraft turrets as well. God, there's just so much we could ask for. Yep, and then he's got a bunch of different warriors as well. The Famases. I remember him adding the uh, 454. Four. Added the 28s there as well. This is more Civ stuff. But if anyone's looking at the... Because, um, again, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. If anyone's looking at his change log, let me know what I'm missing, and I'll just search it manually. And then I want to go look at the Tech 9, and then we'll go to uh, garrisoning the other file. But, I mean, just by scrolling, this is, again, one of the most extensive mods you can have in terms of just choice. So much choice. Because I know there's going to be, like, one asset tucked away in one faction where it's like, ha-ha. You know, F, I'm going to Google it myself. I just want to see 543. Where is it? There's a recovery version of it. There it is. Yep. Though, that might have been there, like... That might have been there the entire time. Yeah. So that was the original Scud, and then he just made different variations of the vehicle. So the AR-10, Carl Gustav. So we added an M45. CDF skins for the UH-1. Civilian reskins for the AN-2. Civilian reskins for the UH-1. CSAT factions and various camouflage. Forklift. HS-50 sniper rifle. That I want to look at. Sounds dope. Plus, I want to look at the Tech 9. What? No, 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 no. Is it a primary? Yeah, all right. I'm used to it being a secondary because that's what it is in Cup, but that's a, that's a nice gun. Okay, let's try 50. Oh, it's that. Oh. There are dozens of factions in 3CB, and there's enough for you to literally make any faction ever. Katiba rifles in 556, five, you monster. He renamed them to probably their OG name. I think those were already there, but that's nice to see. So these are the AR-10s. I recognize them from another mod, though. There's the M45. At 49, which, again, might have already been there, but... M45, PPS agent, I was already in there. I 
I still remember when he added the RPK and the RPD. Like, ah, yeah. So many guns. Because here's the thing. Years ago, you had to literally look into the annals of other mods to find, like, SKSs, for example. Like, you couldn't find an SKS on the damn workshop unless you went for, like, a really specialized Russian mod that had stuff. Now, it's all so easy. Oh, there's Uzis, too. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I did M1919 Browning Machine. Yeah, I thought those were new. But I doubt those are going to be statics. Yeah, so it's only for the guns, which, yeah, it's fine. So then you have the M47. Which I guess he added as a dedicated launcher in place of the ace one. Okay. M72 law launcher. So I guess a variation of the law. Middle Eastern civilians to all sides. Missing map icons for three CP variants of RHS and 113s. He was telling me about that. Added more variants of modular plate carrier vests. Added new optics for AP and HE ranges on uh, SPG-9 Hiluxes and other vehicles with SPG-9s. Can be switched for plus or minus. PKM static turrets with RHS CDF. Added 35 round PPSH drum mags. A P320 Sig Sauer pistol. QB rifles in 5.56. The ROV water drones, which we saw under CSAT. RPD light machine gun. Yeah, no, he did add that, because I only saw the RPK, and then I saw the RPD, too, and I'm like, was that there? Because that was one of the guns I was thinking, where that with the PTRS, God, wouldn't that be funny? T-28 Trojan, the Tech 9 in full and semi-auto, top rail for early M16 sights without rails for optics, that's fine. Uzi submachine gun, V-22, and the Zoaf. What the hell is the Zoaf? Out of the micro UAZ. Oh, I don't even know what the hell that is. That that might be Chinese. I don't know, but yeah. All right. Mwah. Yeah, I've got a gate op ready to go. I just don't feel like dealing with it. All right. Well, now delete all that. Ignore the fact I put up a bunch of AT mines. It's not important. Not important, I say. And then just casually mine the shit out of the road. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got to make sure the mines aren't floating. That would be a little awkward. Be kind of funny, but, you know, a little, little awkward. Sir, it's a mine! I'll detonate it. I can't! It's floating! It's what? It's floating! What? Why is the mine floating? I don't know! Because the mission dev is incompetent! That should be good enough. If they go over here, I'll just garrison shit, but... Alright. And now... The test. And this concludes the test. I failed. Because now I need to freaking Actually set multiplayer settings properly. Ha <laughs> ha! Oops. Give me one second. Uh... Sorry, I want to go set something. Uh, multiplayer.
Doesn't matter what slot I choose. Oh man, and then we'll be done with one of the big projects. We only have to build one more. I already have the AO chosen. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. It's fine. And then I might push them out to go take some tree lines and push in and We'll just have some really nasty CQC fighting. Have a good night, striking. Oh, oh, I need to delete that, Lamau. Hey, those forklifts are important. Very important. Don't ask questions. They they just need they're just, they're important. They're important. Very important. I want to test something real quick. Um, I forget if it's a reconnaissance drone or if it does have a boom boom on it. Headphone warning. Bearing to target. I'm a little low. That's a hit. And now we're going to go see what happened. Headphone warning, by the way, because it's going to reset my audio and the mod set's very loud. So I apologize in advance. Okay. Excellent. Anyway. All right. That's good. We're good. Uh, no, I didn't even look at the garrison work. Oh my god, Liru, you frickin' bellend. Why? <sighs> okay, let's try that one more time. And I need to delete the respawn point. Okay, Jesus, frickin' stupid. Doesn't matter the point, we already tested the other thing. They did change the arsenals to other items, too. I'm just gonna go to the file to test it. If they do, cool, and if they don't, whatever. Not my problem at that point. All right, no movement, no movement, no movement. Everything should be good. All right. Yeah, cool. That's good. I can set up a mortar locally as well, but I'm going to do it in the back line. No, actually, I should I should set that up now because I'm going to run into the issue of the ammo type not being viable. If anything, just so I can have... Uh, 
it would be an 81 millimeter HG shell. Try CSW. There we go. In case that doesn't work, I am going to do a backup. Shoot, I didn't fix the frickin' thing. And I need to re-export. The thirty first file. Um, There's the fatigue crash. All right, what do I still need to get done? I need to get the garrison work done for the Geonosis file. I need to get editing done. I need to finish my deduction seat for taxes. Can I like go to bed, wake up at maybe like 11 and then edit and then start the garrison work in the background? That'll be viable. All right, I'm arguing with myself i'm gonna go to bed valk i'm so sorry um i'm probably gonna get done tomorrow morning and just while well, i do edit in the background because the coffee crash is now hitting oh yeah it's hitting all right no i need to wrap it up thank you so much for watching go operate operationally enjoy the rest of day or night cheers love you all have a good night